this afternoon? Um, you know, we, we made some uh, you know defensive mistakes that we um, you know that we shouldn't have. Uh, so that was a lack of communication. We got to communicate a little bit better on that defensive end. Uh, I think you know I think it was three or four you know trips down in a row that you got a three or got to the got to the rim and that really sparked a big run for them. So we just got to communicate better and you know eliminate some of that confusion off the ball. And then uh, in terms of offensively. Um, you know, it, it's always tougher when you know you're giving up buckets on the uh, on the defensive end, and you and you're coming back down and playing against a set defense. And you know, I feel like we did a pretty good job of moving the ball. We could have did a little bit better, but um, you know, I think we got to you know it stems from our defense. We got to get you know, more stops and then play go out there and play fast and play in transition. That's what we want to do. And um, you know, everything stems from our defense. So we just got to, like I said, communicate better and. No, we got a game on Sunday, so that's what we're gonna work towards. What's up, Josh? It's uh, Willow Giller with the Athletic. Just uh, like you guys did a better job in the second half, but what do you think was the issue? Kind of uh, corralling Duncan Robinson, you know, preventing him from getting some of those open looks uh, on three of the guys. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's always tough for him. He's a mover. He he moves t- you know, tremendous tremendously, I guess. Uh, you know, without the ball. Uh, you know, Bam and those other bigs do a great job. Even the guards, um, you know, they they do a great job of getting him open and finding him and doing those kind of things. So, um, you know, we just gotta make sure we're always locked into a shooter like that and know that he's gonna be moving consistently and you know finding him. And you know, something that like I said, we gotta make sure we do. Um, you know, you know, a little bit better. And like I said, we gotta communicate. You know whether we get hit on the screen or and, and have to switch out emergency switch or something like that. Hey Josh, Christian Clark with Noel. dot com. Uh, Ian talked to us in the last few years about the defense. Did, did it seem like that was a point of emphasis? You know when you guys talked about uh, the game afterwards. Um, you said the transition defense. Um, yeah, it, it's definitely something we talked about. Um, and we gotta make sure we get back. And uh, you know, obviously we have some. You know, really good rebounding guards. You know, Lonzo, Bi, myself, um, even Bled. Um, so we've got to make sure if um, JJ takes a shot, uh, you know, all three of us can't get, you know, go to the offensive offensive glass. You know, someone has to get back. So we got to do a better job. Like I said, it all stems from communication, um, and we got to realize, you know, if I'm up top and Lonzo and Bi are, are crashing the glass, especially late in the game where we were getting just one. You know, one shot possessions, uh, and they were out there trying to um, corral a, uh, an offensive rebound, trying to get us another pos- uh, another possession. Uh, Whoever well, at that top, we got to realize that we have to get back. So, um, you know, that's that, that just comes from obviously just continuing to play together, continuing to um, you know know each other's strengths and see where um, you know everyone is and, and realize where everyone is on the court. So um, we got to get better at it, like I said, uh, and you know this. Luckily, this is only game two. You know, this isn't game 68, and you know we're not you know in a of a, a dog fight to get into the playoffs. So um, we just got to learn from it and you know move on. Hey Josh, this is Ollie with the Bird Rights. Coach talked about how the turnovers, the high amount of turnovers, and the fast break points Miami got were really detrimental. But he also pointed to maybe having you know the heavy legs on the team. He said he didn't go to the bench enough. Do you feel like in the fourth quarter you guys had some heavy legs out there? Um, uh, I don't know, maybe, but you know, like I, I always have the the the, the mentality of, you know, when you're tired, you got you got to fight through it, and you got to have those habits. And um, it, it was a very short uh, kind of training camp, short stint going into the season that um, we were working on those habits, and I think we did a, a good job and. With the time that we had, um, we just have to make sure when we're tired, we we lock in even more uh, mentally, physically. Um, so, you know, we might we might have been a little bit tired, but um, when we're tired, that's when you have to rely on those habits that you build in training camp, and you just got to get better because at the end of the day, the other team's tired too. So, um, when we're tired, we have to have that do- that dog mentality of, you know. I'm tired. You know, it's in the middle of the play. Let's get this stop, and then 
let me tell coach I got to get out and, and get a breather. So that's the mentality we have to have, even if we're tired, and uh, you know, and just keep it moving. Oh, we, I mean, we, we got to learn a lot more. Um, you know, we have the foundation of it, um, and now it's just the experience of it, of realizing um, the calls or knowing when to switch, knowing what's, um, what the other offense is doing. So that comes in with, you know, comes with time, even myself. Uh, you know, there'll be times where um, I might be in the right position or, um, and, I, and I, you know, and I, and I make the wrong read or, I make the wrong read and I'm and I'm in the wrong position based off of kind of what we did last year. Um, cause, you know, it's kind of totally different. So um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but we got to be professional. We got to realize that it, it's a shorter season, and if we got to if we want to make it to the playoffs and we want to be the best team we can be at the end of the year, we got to start getting those habits down and getting that experience in as as fast as we can because we got game every other day you know in the ne for the next what 70 whatever days so it's not going to be much time to really go out there and drill it in practice so we have to be able to watch the film of it learn from film learn from walking through and you know get better so it comes with it comes with experience and that's something that we got to do and really dive into the film to, to get that experience not just game experience